Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my coronavirus series where I read the science so you don't have to and in today's video we are discussing all things vaccine so I put a question box on my Instagram if you're not already following me on there then make sure that you are just saying that you could ask me any questions that you have about the coronavirus vaccine uh, so I'm going to be answering those today and addressing some common myths so let's just get right into it Okay, so the first question was, are you getting it? If so, why? Um, yes, I am getting it. I am a medical student on placement. I need to get the vaccine in order to protect myself and protect others. So the next question is in two parts. The first one I'll answer, how reliable is the COVID vaccine? So the Pfizer one is 95% effective and the AstraZeneca one is um, up to 90% effective. Now the differences in percentages, they can't be compared directly, it's a bit more complicated than that, but both of them are safe and they do the job they're intended to do. And I'm gonna guess that the second part of this question was, what are my views on vaccines in general? Um, I am pro-vaccination. Um, vaccines are a really, Good a really good health intervention. I think the most um, effective health intervention after washing your hands um, in terms of diseases worldwide and historically. All the vaccines, all the infections that we're vaccinated against today, uh, we just take for granted. Uh, but in the past, measles, rubella, etc., everything that we get vaccinated against was an absolute tragedy. And the only difference with this vaccine is that it's been made in the public eye and that's why it's been up to so much scrutiny and so much fake news and everything. Um, but once we get this vaccine out, then it'll just be a thing of the past and our children's children won't even know how devastating a thing it was, just how we don't know how devastating a thing all these uh, vaccines that we have for today were in the past. The next question is how does it work? Does it stop you from contracting virus or does it just lessen the symptoms? And actually it's a bit of both. So how the vaccine works. Each vaccine contains a little bit of the um, virus's mRNA and that is just like a sequence of molecules. Think of it as instructions to a virus on how it can replicate itself in in our bodies and normally it will replicate itself and make us ill and our body will have to be fighting it and our body's response to invasions by viruses is what we see so some people can can fight um, viruses well and get over it very quickly so that's why we have some people who have corona and they just get a bit of sniffles loss of sense of smell and they're fine and other people's bodies it takes much more of a toll it's a bit more of a tug of war and that's how we can get people to that end up in itu so the vaccine is giving your body just a little bit of the virus in a very controlled way so that it gives your body a chance to fight it get over it um in a safe manner and in the in the future that means that your body will already have instructions on how to fight the virus if it ever comes across the real thing but that is after you have the two doses of the vaccine so with the one dose you get partial immunity so that means if you were to come across the real thing you wouldn't get the whole point behind it is that you wouldn't get full-blown covid but you would get um, a bit of a weaker one. And the reason they're doing this is so that they can vaccinate more people. And if they were to contract Corona, they wouldn't need ITU assistance. So it's basically a strategy to try to buy us time out of the winter. Um, and it's just trying to do the best by the most amount, the best for the most amount of people. That's the thinking behind um, the two dose versus one dose. The next question, uh, when do you think everyone that wants the vaccine will be immunized by? So this is the order that they're wanting to immunize everyone. I'll put it on this side of the screen. And right now we are at stage two, so over 80s and healthcare workers. And if you want to uh, find out where you are in that queue, then I'll put a link in the description box. It's like a queue calculator, it's unofficial something, but it gives you an estimate of to when you are going to receive your COVID vaccine. And then I had, there was a question saying that, is this safe in the long term? Um, you know, that she's had some conspiracy theories around 
this vaccine has gone through every it's, it's gone through the same rigorous testing and process as every other vaccine the only reason why it's been so quick compared to any other vaccine is because um, of pressures worldwide pressures worldwide teamwork um, and funding really so just don't be alarmed um, I know one quite famous conspiracy is that this vaccine causes facial paralysis um, aka Bell's palsy well that is completely untrue uh, the study that was looking into that or proved that the numbers were exactly the same rate as what happens in the general population as if you were to never have taken the vaccine anyways um, and I saw a tweet which said the amount of uh, Covid infections and amount of Covid deaths and then amount of vaccinations um, and amount of vaccine deaths is zero so compared to Covid or having the vaccine you can definitely rest assured that it's extremely safe some common myths as well that I just wanted to bust there is no microchip in the um, in the vaccine the government don't need to watch us uh, if they wanted to they would just log into our phones um, and track us that way you know they don't need a microchip for that and a liquid microchip as well that would that our body wouldn't break down um, that would be quite hard um, another thing is that it will change my DNA it will not change your DNA at all. Every day we come across bugs and the only reason why we are not ill is because we have instructions on how to fight those bugs. This vaccine only gives your body um, the instructions in how to fight COVID. It does not change your DNA in any type of way. Um, and lastly, this vaccine does not contain any pork or other animal derivatives um, and the amount of alcohol in this vaccine is negligible. It is not um, a case where if you're Muslim or Jewish you have to worry and actually the um, Islam British Medical Association um, have recommended that Muslims and you know other people religions that say to not eat these things um, take the vaccine it does not contain any pork or animal deriv derivatives or substantial amount of alcohol so that was all the questions about coronavirus vaccine a very quick video i hope i've been able to allay any of your fears if you still have some questions then please write them down below i will reply and comment to it let's make sure that we're staying at home we're keeping safe and anything that we can do in order to beat this virus we are doing and i shall see you in the next one make sure you like comment share and subscribe bye